Straight ahead, high-tech thieves are targeting companies up and down the West Coast. What are they after? We'll have the answer next on The Money. There's only one compact pickup that's totally new for 1993, Ford Ranger. And now you can lease a well-equipped Ranger for just $1.99 a month for 24 months with no money down. There's no surprises. That's $1.99 a month for 24 months. Don't be fooled by the competition and their long-term leases. Lease a Ranger with all these options for $1.99 a month. No money down, 24 months at $1.99 a month. See your Ford dealer and lease the all-new Ranger. Five out of the top ten sellers are Fords. Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner, Danny DeVito, on the run in Columbia in the nonstop action of Romancing the Stone, Monday at 8 on Channel 2. On the Money with Brian Van Miller is sponsored by BMW. Arrange a thorough test drive at your local BMW dealer. What's more valuable than gold and more easily sold than stolen gems? Look into computer chip theft. Can you fool police radar? We'll test a device that promises to make you invisible to police speed traps. We'll take a look into one way to strike it rich, gold mining. I'm Brian Van Miller. Chances are you have a computer at work or at home, and its lifeblood is the small computer chip. Well, the demand is so great for this latest computer technology, there are now shortages of some expensive chips. So you guessed it, criminals have caught on, and police have a warning. Those chips are the latest target of high-tech thieves. In the back of this computer company warehouse, four young men, armed with guns, broke in and ripped off more than $100,000 worth of computer chips. Although their faces were captured by a surveillance camera, these thieves were never caught. Authorities believe the stolen merchandise was later dumped on the black market and probably sold to fellow computer companies. There have been a couple of real violent incidents of security guards beat up, tied up, and windows broken and stock rooms cleaned out of the high-end components. Um, that's not unusual here. The loss of technology, uh, trade secrets, as well as actual hardware, the chips, uh, the systems themselves, is probably exceeding a million, a million to a million and a half every other day. High-tech robberies are soaring. Former thief Jason Smith tells undercover investigators just how lucrative chip theft really is. Weight for weight silicon, some of the silicon chips are worth more than gold. Smith quietly broke into some 50 computer companies in the middle of the night. When finally arrested, authorities found more than a million dollars in stolen computer parts at his home. I usually turn around the next day and have it sold. Where were you selling it? To other computer stores. And after I hit one place, I got around 20-some thousand from this one place, so I put $5,300 right down on the next day on a brand new truck and put a $3,000 stereo system in it. Thieves have no problem selling chips because they're in short supply and high demand. Surprisingly, many of these thieves are employees, insiders who work